Hello everyone, it's Omai and welcome back to another One Bitch Village Cruise video. Today we're back for the new Grand Party season. We are back once again and there's a damn motorcycle in the background. But anyways, this new season, there's obviously new buffs, debuffs. So in this video, I'll be discussing the teams you should be facing as well as which teams you should be using. As well as what to avoid regarding the new meta and any changes that could be happening during this new Grand Party season. So let's just straight into it. I didn't record my day one pulls because those are super easy and you literally can't die because you can retry as many times as you want. Uh, however, now it should start getting a bit more difficult because I cannot reset. I mean, I cannot uh, have infinite tries. So if I do lose twice, then I will lose the match, which is, um, I mean, fine. It's still a very easy day to win and get six out of six. And we have some very weak teams here. We have a who's who GP leader. Definitely don't want to do that if you are playing GP. Uh, for these teams, I'm just going to use my usual setup, which is uh, Psy, Slashes, and Free Spirit. I actually think this is a Dex team I'm running here with uh, Gear 5 on it. Uh, but either way, it should work because these teams are very weak that I'm facing. So I'm just going to skip through these and then we can get into the second round. But I do want to talk about the new season's buffs, which I'll actually talk about after this match because... Um, Kind of forgot exactly what the buffs were, but I know you don't want to be running uh, f uh, slasher characters because they are heavily debuffed. They have HP down of level four, uh, meaning you they are going to be absolutely weak and will get absolutely destroyed in any match you play against a strong team. Slashes already weren't the most tanky, but with this debuff, you definitely want to avoid using slashes when possible. I believe int characters have uh, they are, are boosted, so. I'm not going to make any assumptions because I, I can't exactly remember. I just know the debuffs. But yeah, the first team, very easy. We have our GP burst already. Um, but yeah, the what I wanted to talk about that you want to avoid is Nami and Karina. So I actually don't know exactly why um, you want to avoid them as of right now. But I've heard of a lot of very good players saying that you want to be careful of Nami and Karina in the new meta. And yeah, I just take take that with a grain of salt because i'm not certain about how strong they are in grand party i'm kind of pulling this information out of my ass but uh just i've seen veteran players talking about nami and karina being quite dangerous so might want to avoid that um so any teams using her just try to avoid if possible but obviously don't want to be running slashes uh, i will be changing this team to something else uh, for now i'm just using it because there's no reason for me to change it since I am facing very weak teams. But uh, I will be making a uh, quick team actually because quick have buffs for this season. I believe it is quick and int. And then slashes have debuff. So that's four out of six wins. And then we can get into our final two games. But let me quickly check out the buffs before I go on further. Don't want to misinform you guys about anything. Uh, then we have our gym. Last season, I actually got public victory legit for the first time. I think second time, actually. So that's very cool. But in terms of the rules, we have Powerhouse have special, special CT up level 5. Quick have attack up level 8. And then Int and uh, Int type has HP up and speed up of level 5. Slashes have HP down of level 4. So I forgot about the Powerhouse characters. They are going to be activating their specials a lot faster. And then Int is going to be heavily buffed. So make sure you are using your Int teams. They are going to be working very well. Uh, quick teams, you really don't want to be using them unless you are facing a strength team. So if you do find a strength team that you think is quite strong, go in with your quick team. You are going to have attack up level 8, which is a significant buff and will allow you to ra uh, absolutely ravage through those teams. Slashes, as I said before, don't want to be using those guys. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Just make sure you are using teams that are uh, either have power units or are relating to the quick or int type and avoid slashes so for the fifth match here, i also want to talk about uh the strategy from last time which was that we actually put up weak gp leaders uh at the end of our matches last season and that actually has come through here we have dog which is a old 49 unit that someone put up and although this is a very strong team we have a very weak gp leader which basically guarantees my success so I'm glad that this character came here as, an, as a great example of what you guys should do. Also, this person here, Revel, Revel Vage. I butchered that name, but anyways. Rebecca and Toy Soldier, leader up. 
although the team is very strong in Whaley, uh, they did put that up after their wins last time around, making it super easy for us to win this time. Uh, I still think I can find something weaker, but honestly, I think I should just go straight into it. I think I can handle this. We have a quick team here. I'll start off with my uh, Dex team with Gear 5 Luffy, and then after that, we can go into uh, the next matches. I'll probably run the slashes against that middle team, and then the last team, I'll be confident with my free spirit. And against Dex, I should be able to win, especially with my GP burst, considering they don't have theirs at all. So let's just speed this up. And yeah, I do want to also mention my OPTC Ultra Hardcore series because I am actually going to be playing Grand Party for the first time with story mode characters and some random Clash and Trish map characters that I obtained so far. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be very difficult considering I'm already struggling with Pyro Rumble. And that's only requiring you to have about five good units and then three decent units for the bench. But now we have GP, which requires three whole teams, which I'm not sure if I have enough characters to fill that out, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's going to be definitely an interesting experience. I might just be spamming reset until I can find something very weak, which is kind of what I do for Pyro Rumble. I mean, I basically spam reset until I find a one-man team or something with low-level characters. And it, it is a bit weaselly and a bit scummy, but like... There's literally no other option because these old characters, story mode characters, some of the Clash characters don't even have Rumble abilities. So you got to do what you can to survive and get the Rumble tickets that I need, which in turn will allow me to get free to play Rumble characters and level up my Gather Island, which will in turn allow me to get more units and to improve my team to the point where I might actually be able to fight some decent-ish teams. We are absolutely destroying these guys. Yeah. Please do the strat, it's going to make it so much easier. I feel like this will become more apparent on how effective it was later on in the days. Uh, like, especially day four or five, the last days. Uh, if you did the strat, if everyone did the strat, then we are going to have such a great time in GP from here onwards. Unless Bandai notices this and kind of just changes the mechanics to uh, allow this to not work anymore. Also, sorry about the poor lighting. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty late in the day, so you got to do what you got to do. But here we are um, for the second match. I honestly might be able to just win this straight up. Even though Slashes are fragile, uh, they really can't do anything because, yeah, easy win. So it seems like day two is going to be a walk in the park, just like day one. So tell me how your guys' uh, matches went down in the comments. But about OBTC on Ultra Hardcore mode, a lot of you guys enjoy that series and I really do enjoy making it myself. So if you are waiting for the episodes and are concerned if I'm still continuing it, continuing it or not, don't worry because I am every day playing on that account. I've been uh, playing a lot in Treasure Map, Kizuna, Rumble, uh, now in Grand Party as well. I'll be showing in the recent episode. I've also been playing the new Pirate King Adventures, which is going to be a very tough experience on a new account. Um, not because of the content's difficulty, but because of the fact that we have no boosters. We have the size strides, which are boosters, but remember the rules for OPTC Ultra Hardcore. I can't use any rare recruits or any legends, and I can't use the side free to play strides since they are a free cop out, making any event super easy. So I can't use them either. So I literally have no boosted characters. Meaning it's going to be a very slow ride to get to the 500 turtles. And yeah, make sure you check out the new, uh, the, the next OPTC Ultra Hardcore episode because that's going to be very eventful. I will show clips from all the treasure map events and Kizuna, etc. that I have played in the last month. Just to show you guys a bit of the progress that I've made in terms of my account, which have been very significant. But here we have an Assault Force member, Zaka Kunich. Uh, he has a Gear 5 Luffy up. I'm not playing with that. Uh, quick team, Dex team, and Free Spirit. Honestly, I'm just going to skip. I have four resets. Why not? Um, video's getting about 10 minutes, so not too long. I want to make these GP videos a bit shorter because uh, I don't like it when videos are like 20 minutes. It's very, very drawn out and... I, I know a lot of people aren't going to actually watch until the end, so from making the video shorter, even though sometimes they get less monetization, but 
Always do it for the passion, not for the bag. But here we have Rebecca and Toy Soldier. Now, this team here, I think I will have a bit of an easy time facing. Dex, uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to use against Dex. This might actually be the time where I need to switch up my team a bit. As for the side team, I think I can just face that with a um, Slashes. No, I'll, I'll face them with Dex. And then the final team, I'll just go Free Spirit against Free Spirit. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to go Slash for the first team, and then... Um, yo, I don't know what I want. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go Slash against Dex, then Psy, I mean Dex against Psy, and then finally Free Spirit against Free Spirit, which I'm pretty confident I'll be able to win that, because once again, no GP burst leader or whatever, so we should be fine regardless, even though our Slasher team is quite weak. Uh, so GP, uh, typical standard stuff about this game mode, very difficult, if you are a new player, it's going to be a tough time, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it's a very difficult game mode, and if you are someone who doesn't have a lot of good legends, you are going to suffer because of the fact that you need three teams, and I know some people, they even struggle to make one team that is good as a new player, or even a middle game player. Rumble does require a lot of high statted characters and just a lot of legends in general as well as Pyre Rumble or recruits even if you have every legend if you miss Pyre Rumble or recruits you are going to have a tough time so it does require a lot of resources but yeah Grand Party still a very fun game mode I know a lot of people hate it but very interesting and always nice to see the new strats that are going to occur uh, Gear 5 is still absolutely dominating even if you have everything else no Gear 5 means you are going to have a bit of a tough time uh, which is just the sad truth there are some characters that you just need to have and it looks like we are winning here very uh, very safely here we aren't getting our units dead uh, we should be able to activate our burst very very soon after our roger and you get activates we should have our burst ready okay honestly i don't think that was necessary but it's fine Oh, at this point, I think I can just skip. No need to wait. We almost have our burst ready, so that's pretty cool. Also, let me know if you guys um, enjoy Grand Party content. This is much more chill, less edited, because these videos are very long. And um, Grand Party, there's about six videos that I need to make on it. So I can't be spending here the whole afternoon editing Grand Party to make it like a few minutes shorter, but I hope you guys can understand. I do have schoolwork to do. And damn, it is dark right now. That's crazy. Psy team? Oh, uh, Dex. I feel Dex can handle uh, Psy. Usually you use Psy to defeat Dex, but I feel a vi vice versa. It will also work. These guys could sort of combat each other. Um, we do face a lawyer, and he only really works against in teams. He absolutely demolishes in teams. But since we aren't running any of those units here, besides Smoker on the bench, who's right at the back, we should be fine. He shouldn't be able to do much. Uh, I think I'll just wait for my burst and then use that skip, and we will definitely get the win. There's literally no chance of me losing here. Although I'm a bit cocky, uh, I definitely need to humble myself when it comes to GP. Even though I haven't really had the best track record of win rate, uh, for some reason, I still am very impatient when it comes to my matches. Okay, well, I'll use my burst, and I'm out. Should be able to win here, maybe not. Guess not. Uh, so that's actually rough, bro. Will I still be able to win this? I'm not sure. Because it's free spirit against free spirit. We don't have any bursts, but he doesn't have a GP leader, so he's losing out on buffs from that, which I do have. And also the free spirit team is, I think, a bit worse than ours, so still think we got a chance here. We do have Zoro on their team, which is something I don't have, but, you know, I got the GP leader, so I should be able to get through this. But uh, there's nothing that I can actually influence here, so I'm just going to skip it. I'm not going to waste you guys' time. And are we going to win? Yes, we won. Okay, so I, I don't think we would have actually lost completely if we did lose that match because I'm pretty sure I can redo it again. But that would be a very boring and very long. So thank you guys for watching about 15 minutes, which isn't too bad. We got through these pretty well. 
uh, no troubles besides on the last match they kind of messed up using my burst on match two but it's fine we got six out of 15 i'll see you guys in the next one for day three and i'm out also make sure to like and subscribe